welcome back to Ken's Ken TV. Today, we're opening another snack crate. I'm excited to see where this came from, so let's get into it. Oh, Brazil. Oh my gosh, yes. Actually, a couple kids in my school were talking about Brazil. They were like, oh, that would be another popular place to get one from. That's so cool. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited already. Oh. And it's like a toucan in the... Ooh, the there's like a Fanta in here. Fanta soda, let's look at that. Fanta Guarana. I butchered that. It, like it appears to have peach. like grapes on them. Hold on, I don't know what this is. Fanta Guarana, a high caffeine soda made from the... The gu guarana fruit. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. Native to the American basin. It tastes sort of apple. It tastes sort of like apple with a berry finish. Ooh, I've never heard of guarana. So, like, if you know what that is, where you're from, leave it in the comments. Because I would love to know what that is. I've never been there or never tried that fruit, I guess. Oh, that was nice. That's really good. It's really fizzy though, wow. Got it? I do taste the apple and the berry at the same time. That is really good. It kinda tastes like you took like a cranberry grape juice, add a lot of fizzy to it, and then add a little bit of apple juice to it. That's really good. I'll put that over there. Uh, hey, honey. Asado. On the saver. No, I don't even. I'm not even gonna say that. I don't know what that is. Cheetos asado. These cheese puffs are covered with requeijo. Re I don't know. A type of cream cheese with a flavor similar to sour cream. Ooh. Mmm. Tastes like a normal Cheeto with like a sour creamy flavor. That's really nice. And they're really bumpy as well. Looks like a macaroni. <laughs> the way I said that. Oh, okay. What are these? Popcorns? Uh, people cause a cucaradas? Please don't make fun of me, guys. I don't know what these are. I don't know how to speak this language. The sweet popcorn is similar to kettle corn found in the United States, but with its own distinct flavor. Okay. Well, let's try it out then. That's a really big bag. It is, actually. That's a lot. Mmm. Mmm. It is sweet. It's like crunchy. It's like a tough cracker consistency. That is sweet with like a kind of like a honey flavor. I like that too. Man. That's already good. I haven't just liked a single thing in here. Oh my. Puffles. Churrasco. Where's the puffles? I kind of like that name. Puffles. That's something I would name a dog. Oh wait. It says ruffles, but the R was bent. Okay, ruffles. Ruffles churrasco. These crunchy potato chips are flavored like sa savory Brazilian style barbecue. They are seriously good finger looking good stuff. All right. Ruffles, not puffles. Oh, they look like just normal. Potato like chips. Like Lay's potato chips. Oh, but they don't smell like normal potato chips. No, no, no. Mm. Oh, they taste like barbecue chicken. Oh. Oh, that's so good. I guarantee my parents will love that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the whole bag. That's really good. It tastes like exactly like barbecue chicken. Like how you open this bag. Okay, I'm what sorry. Savage. I opened it and it went tear. 
<laughs> but still, it tastes just like barbecue chicken in like a potato chip form. That's really nice too. Next up, uh, Tira Tima. Oh <coughs> gosh. Okay, Tira Tima uh, Quijo. Let me see. <laughs> Sick. You sicken me. What do you say? <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> Crunchy bites blasting with cheesy flavor. These crispy cracker snacks will keep you going for more and more. I was trying to cool you down. So I don't make a fool out of myself. Let's cut this. Oh, they feel hollow. Oh, they are hollow. Oh, it just fell. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It tastes familiar. Tastes like. Uh, it actually kind of tastes like a cheese ball, but it's crunchy and hollow inside. Overall. I thought those were really nice. I know I've tasted that flavor before. I don't think it might be cheese balls, but whatever it is, it's really cheesy and good. Or as they said about the ruffle, finger licking good. Anyways, oh, our first candy, Trencho Bites. Ooh, those look good. They look like little peanut butter cups with like chocolate filling inside. Sweet, what are these? Trencho Bites Aoliti. These crisp wafers are exploding with chocolate <coughs> inside and out. They have a rich chocolatey filling and coating, and oh my gosh, it just exploded on me. Boom. I am proud of myself that I got to open it with my hands. They look like milk duds. Okay. When I was like, younger, I used to call milk duds milk dudes. I'm so funny. Milk duds. Oh. Oh, they're soft. Mmm. Mm -mm, get chewy. Okay. Tastes like a chocolatey mixed with like, I don't know, it kind of tastes like a milk chocolate outside. With just like a soft inside. Doesn't really taste like peanut butter. Tastes like a wafer, but like really soft for the inside. And then in the middle, it's like fudge. Mm. I love that. This might be like my favorite thing in here so far. We haven't even opened that many. Oh yeah, there's still a ton in here. Ooh. Trento, also the same one. Uh, Allegro. They look like they kind of have like a honey or peanut butter thing inside. It's kind of what it looks like. It's like it's Butterfinger true. inside almost. That's true. They're like peanuts around it, so why I'm kind of thinking like peanut butter. Macy, just wait. I won't read the description on this, but well, like oh, oh, it's definitely peanut butter. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. Hmm. It tastes like, okay, so it's white chocolate on the outside, first of all. Inside, it's like a wafery graham cracker kind of texture thing that's covered in like the peanut butter you would taste in a Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Ooh. Oh, that's good. I get excited over candy, sorry. Actually, let's read that really, really quick. Uh, break into this flavor-packed candy bar, a light, crisp wafer filled with peanut butter, all coated with a layer of white chocolate covered in peanuts. Sweet! Next, ooh, this looks like a brownie, but nope. It's hard. <laughs> really hard. What is this? Uh, okay. Let's read the description. I don't know what this is. Pidi mocha, <laughs> similar to peanut butter, peanut, 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 similar to peanut brittle. This candy features crunchy peanuts covered in sweet toffee, 
A perfect blend of salty and sweet. Oh, yeah. It's like you guys. Yeah. Perfect blend of salty and sweet. <clears throat> we'll let you guess which is which. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> Burp. That's I think gross. That's actually a pretty big um hint right there. <laughs> Oh, it's actually kind of sloppy inside. Oh, wow. Okay. It looks interesting. It was like, didn't it say that? Macy, show me. Mm-hmm. Crunch, crunchy peanuts covered in sweet toffee. That's what I touched, tasted. It was nutty. Mm-hmm. It's basically exactly how they described it. Mm. I had, oh, there's like a cuddly cotton inside. Okay, one thing at a time, kid. Um, oh, Oreos and like a Kit Kat flavor. Kit Kat all many of course. <laughs> Good for having it. Or is it a Kit, Kit Kat and an Oreo flavor? Possibly. Maybe. See what it says. Um, um locked up this Oreo. You'll never want a regular Oreo again. Delicious chocolatey layers of wafers coated in desiccant white chocolate. Okay. You're right. Mm. And I, ooh. Mm. That doesn't think you mean, think, make you think of like a straight up just candy bar that tastes like cookies and cream. Nothing will. Ooh. Oh. Let's see. Eat that. Kill your grill. It's just broken half. Oh no. <laughs> I picked it up and it just went flop. It kind of shows the good like layering in it though. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Pretty nice. <laughs> Is it in fact better than an Oreo? Yes. What? I'm not even kidding, yes. It is. It's like, let me see. It's like the perfect texture, and it's way easier to like bite into. Cause you know like that sad moment where you bite into an Oreo cookie and the rest of it just goes crack in half? I hate that. Anyways, I like this. Also, because of its like wafer texture, along with the Oreo, like the cream texture, and the beautiful flavor of the whitish like chocolate on the outside, which I adore. I'm totally eating that afterwards. Um, Club Social. What is this? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this is right can here. I, Club Social. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, go. Um, okay. <laughs> a Brazilian take on cheese and crackers. The sandwich snack, it must have been all that soda. Um, boasts a crunchy crackers with a cheesy tomato basil filling. All right. I personally don't like tomatoes, but I don't know if it's going to taste like tomatoes. I doubt it. But we'll see. You see, loves tomatoes. I'll save her a piece. Mmm. Okay. Okay. So, you know, like those little sandwiches. Sometimes they're peanut butter. Sometimes they're cheese, and they're like the little cracker things. They come in like a little pack. I. It's kind of like those, except they do have like the kind of like the. I don't. I've never really had much of tomato basil, but I'm assuming that's what I'm tasting. Kind of tastes like Italian, like a dressing on top. That's really nice too. I'll uh, put this here so Macy can try it when she comes back. Uh, this is one of the Torta Guita. It is these unique turtle shaped chocolates are perfect for when you need a little something sweet. We've included either the classic Brigadierio Brigadierio or vanilla cream flavors. We got the blue one, although it's uh, yeah, they're both in here. Okay. So cute. 
Oh my gosh. Chocolate turtle! That's adorable. I kill it. Mmm. But I'm glad. <laughs> mm. Okay. It's like, oh, I know I've gotten this before. The taste of it. Eat this. Oh. It tastes like. It has a melted white chocolate that froze, but not like hard, but like in a soft flavor. Cracker! On the inside. With like a Nutella topping covered in a milk chocolate turtle. That's nice. You may also try this. Now let's try the other one. And apparently, this one might be the vanilla. Because the other one is a, I don't know, the Rigadirio. But I don't even know how to pronounce that, so you guys know like Brazil language, like you can translate me in the comments, I don't care. Oh. The other one was definitely vanilla. The other one looked like this. This one mm -hmm. looks like this. Okay. Weird, there's like black sprinkles inside. Hmm. Maybe the turtles are full of tur turtle turtles. Just hey. <laughs> Enjoy. Mmm. It kind of looks like this inside this picture right here. Okay. It kind of does, like the sprinkly kind of thing. Just that great glass. Okay. Next, uh, these are. Are they exactly the same? Yes. This is the final one. A Pacuquita, the most beloved peanut butter candy in all of Brazil. Small in size, but big in peanut flavor. Okay. Rip. I don't think if the people knew people would make videos on these. They're just like, hey, we just wanted to send some people some snacks. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Tastes exactly like Reese's Pizzas. Also, the people in Brazil must love peanut butter. That's most of these candies. Here, let me see. Just take one from here. But it just tastes like the inside of a Reese's Pieces with like a little bit of a salty texture and take flavor. Mmm. All right. Let me see. Please. Okay. <laughs> was there anything in the Brazil box that you did not like? Nope. nope. Personally, I liked all of it and I would eat all of it. Yeah? Which of this would you say was your favorite? Um, I really like this. Mm. Obviously. Yeah, I also liked mm. this. This is okay. Everything. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Macy, did you have a favorite? Yes. I think you're a pretty big fan of the pop. She, oh, I did. Pop. Or soda, depending on your part of the world, what you call it. Do you call it turtle. pop or do you call it soda where you live? The turtle. Or do you call it fizzy pop. liquid in a can? Right. <laughs> nothing. Carbonation in bubbles. I don't know. Um. And. But that's basically it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time. Out of Brazil.